Hi, I'm David McLean and I'm a hypnotherapist. To give him a full title, I'm a solution-focused clinical hypnotherapist and psychotherapist, which I know is a bit of a mouthful, so let's break it down. What I do, it really is in the title, it's solution-focused, so it's really taking people from the problems that they might have, um, all the different issues that they, they suffer in their life, and uh, basically yeah, finding solutions for them. So hypnotherapy can help with many issues and problems. The list is not exhaustive, of course, but it can help with depression, anxiety, anger, stress levels, weight management, helps with phobic responses and fears, for example, fear of flying or exam nerves, driving test nerves. Hypnotherapy is an excellent way to stop smoking. And the amazing thing is that it only takes one session and some people are quite amazed at that. And uh, we have great, great success results. Um, our clinic, our practice actually holds some of the best results. But it can also help with a lot of general issues, like confidence building, whether you need to get that next promotion or whether you just want to gain a bit more control of the area that you're in. It can also help with sports performance, of course. If you want to get that golf handicap down or you want to just be a bit better tennis player, it can help with many, many issues. Basically giving empowerment back to your life. So what is hypnotherapy? Well, hypnotherapy is basically two things. It's hypnosis and therapy. The hypnosis part, of course, is trance. When we go into trance, it's a very normal, natural state that we actually all go in and out of every day. The trance that we go in and what we replicate on the couch is very similar to REM sleep, very similar to rapid eye movement. That period during the night when we make sense of the problems of the day, if we diffuse all the anxiety of the day. And what we do on the couch is very similar to that. The therapy part is the speaking part. We do have to talk, we do have to talk to each other, we have to find out where we all come from. It's what we all do. But we have to make sure and focus on the solutions. We need to focus on the positive aspects of our lives. We need to focus on the solutions because uh, quite often, although people understand it, they will never find the solution to the problem within the problem. However, it doesn't stop people looking for it. So what I remind people, of course, is that if we need to move on, if you need to move on, gain control back in your life, to have that empowerment back that you want, you need to find the solutions. When the clients come to see me and they're, they're in a depressive state, for example, and they're going over and over the problems, of course, that is not finding solutions. So we need to turn it around. So I need to ask specific questions to allow them to come up with the answers. If you do want to get better and you want to get to where you need to be and want to get that control back in your life, then you absolutely have to move forward. And that is done through positivity and solution-focused work. I need to help through positive change. So really, I suppose, explaining to them where this anxiety is coming from, how anxiety is created, of course, and that's through negative thought patterns. So hypnotherapy can help in many, many ways, actually. What we have to look at is basically the foundations of where the problems can come from. And the foundations of all problems that we have, or the majority of problems, are through depression, anxiety and anger. And thankfully, hypnotherapy can help with all those problems. And to do this, we have to look a bit into the brain. It's basic neuroscience, so don't worry, it's not too complicated. But we still need to understand the basic workings of the brain so we can see where the depression, anxiety, anger, stress or even phobic responses, this type of thing, where it all comes from. So the two different areas in the brain, the subconscious and the conscious. The conscious part of the brain, it's the part that you know is you. It's the part that allows us to have this conversation that we're having at the moment. And it's attached to vast intellectual resource. When we're working from this part of the brain, we usually come up with the proper assessment of the situation and it's generally very positive. And the second part of the brain is the subconscious part of the brain. And the centre and most influential part of that brain is called the amygdala. And it's generally referred to as the fight or flight or depression area of the brain. This part of the brain really is there for our survival. It's there when we're in danger. The problem is, of course, when we have this perceived danger, when our anxiety levels go up and up and up, when our metaphorical stress bucket seems to be filling up and up and up. And of course, this can happen over days, weeks, months, even years, in fact. When this happens, we start to lose this intellectual control and our primitive emotional brain starts to take over. This subconscious part starts to take over because it perceives that we're in some sort of danger. 
And that really gives you a good understanding of why we suffer from these problems, why we suffer from different issues, why we can have depression, anxiety, anger, why our stress levels are high, and we just can't seem to cope with it. Once we understand why people feel the way they do, we can then understand of the different areas that you can work with. So once people come for a few sessions, they understand that what we're doing is actually building patterns. And that's exactly what we do in the trance work as well. It's good to explain exactly what trance is because of course people, it's good to lay those fears because some people might think they're going to go to sleep or they're maybe not going to be in control, but of course you're fully in control. That is the whole point of hypnotherapy, is to give you that control back in all aspects of your life. So trance, you lie down on the couch, uh, read a few metaphorical stories to you, you relax, pretty similar to meditation in fact. It's actually quite interesting that um, the brain is working up to four times harder actually when you're in this relaxed trance state. So this is really where we get down to the business end, I suppose, and really start to make you feel better. As I said, really create these patterns, these positive patterns that we have. So this is why we simply refer to it as solution-focused clinical hypnotherapy. So the initial consultation, it lasts anywhere between half an hour and an hour. I always like to give all my clients an hour, just in case they've got plenty of questions, so they can leave fully informed. The general sessions last around about an hour as well, 55 minutes to an hour. And of course the amount of sessions is dependent on the person and that will be discussed at your initial consultation to give you a good idea roughly of how long it's going to take. I love working with people and I look forward to meeting you, helping you to feel calm, relaxed and in control of your life. Giving you back the empowerment, giving you back the control in your life and moving forward with confidence and happiness. So if you'd like to know more, please contact me.